right, 44 special versus 45 Colt Hardcast. We have some Keith semi wide cutters. And what I'm going to do today is kind of a big game, dangerous game ballistic test to see if these would actually work at all for, you know, personal defense against a large animal like a bear. So interesting thing about these is they're both the same weight and they're both the same rate of velocity. 255 grand for both. 1,000 feet per second rate of velocity for both. Now we are going to have some more barrel travel in our 44 Special versus our 45 Colt. And I'm going to line them up here so you can kind of see this. And this is a true 45 Colt revolver, no matter what people want to say about it, because our cylinder throat starts right about there and you get all that barrel travel. So, you know, if what people are saying is right, that it really only equates to a two and a three quarter inch barrel, then we're going to have like... 700 feet per second velocity or something like that so you know this is a pretty fair comparison in my opinion here so we are going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get with both of these then i put up some of my old gel here for my big game ballistic test and i have a thick layer of carpet here and we're followed by six inches of clear ballistics to represent you know like the starting of an animal and a lot of people don't understand why i do that you know clear ballistics is roughly half as dense as actual mammal flesh so this is actually like three inches and then we have a half inch medium density fiberboard to represent like a really big bone and into more clear ballistics so we have a lot of clear ballistics here i backed this by my um fiberglass 3a 3a plate with some uh, plywood behind it to all taped together just in case we get some pass-throughs then i'm going to shoot from a little distance with uh these at my full-size steel silhouette just to kind of see what kind of practical accuracy we can get so let's get started with this test all right first up we have our 44 special i'm about five yards from the target four yards from the chronograph let's see how close we get to that thousand feet per second with our 44 special no read it's impacting just a little bit left for me let me aim a little bit right same thing 9.15, 9.20, so I may have to adjust my sights just a little bit. This isn't a problem with my governor here because non-adjustable sights. I'm going to go single action with this just because this trigger pull is, it's pretty bad. It's not that bad that I can't place shots accurately, but when we're that close to the chronograph, I don't want to take that risk. So, see what we get with our 45 Colt. 865, 859, 864, 852, 838. So that's about what I expect. And, you know, we have a little bit of less bullet travel in this, you know, mid 800s versus low nines. That's about what you're going to see if you drop off a good half inch from something like this. So let's hit our ballistics gel block with these and just see how they compare. All right, 44 special through our dangerous game ballistic pack. See what this does. Let's run one more through it up above that. So take a look. All right, so that's interesting. That's kind of why I'm doing two here because we're seeing something a little bit different here. <laughs> One of them, it just kind of arced down kind of funny and we went to about 24 and a half inches penetration. The other one went all the way and it's touching my uh, body armor plate here, which I can easily just pull this out, put a dent in there. So it's interesting that uh, you have different results like that. So let me try the 45 Colt and see if that does any better. All right, 45 Colt. See how this does. One more. Go take a look.
All right, we got kind of the same thing where the upper shot, for whatever reason, goes a little bit less. Where we're looking at about 28 inches down here in the bottom here, where we're looking at about uh, right at about 36 inches. So it's kind of hard to say, you know, because the 45 Colt, one of the shots did a little bit deeper penetration than one of the 44 Specials, but one of the 44 Specials went deeper than one of the 45 Colts. So I would say both of these are pretty consistent. And I would say, you know, you make enough shots with that, I think that would stop something like a bear because that's getting good enough penetration. So let me shoot from, I'm going to do 25 yards because that would be kind of the distance, I guess. If I was being charged by something that I'd be shooting at, at it at that point. So let me shoot from 25 yards. All right, so with stuff like this, I don't really feel the need to measure, measure them. Um, it looks like our 45 Colt came with a gas check, but our 44 Special did not. So here's our 44 Specials. One has a little bit of deformation on that nose. No expansion, obviously. They're hard cast. Here's the other one. And this 45 Colt lost its uh, gas check here. This one still has it on it. So as we can see, you know, our 44 Special has a little bit more sectional density, which simply means that, you know, it's a smaller diameter, has the same weight, but longer. So that makes sense why it penetrated a little bit more. You know, even if we had the same velocity, if we had more with the 44 Special in our test, but even if we had the identical velocity, this would go a little bit deeper because of that um, very high sectional density. So. There's our bullets. All right, 44 special, 25 yards. I'm going to do my best to hit multiple hits on target with this. I was shooting a little bit to the uh, right, right for me. So let's just see what I can do. All right, it's doable. It's got a good amount of force hitting that plate. Now, this thing is going to be a challenge. Just the size of the cylinder makes sing or double action um, horrendous. <laughs> but let's just see how it hits for me. Let me just see if it'll hit center mass where I aim. Looks like it did all right. Well, I pulled one, but overall I'm going to say it's pretty doable. And I wouldn't necessarily feel undergunned if I had this ammo and this gun if some large bear came at me or something so seeing that they shoot okay i'm gonna back it up and do kind of like a hunting scenario thing you know what if i'm from 75 yards can i you know hit something with this so let me back it up and try that all right 75 yards from the target 44 special Let's see how i can do with this it may be shooting a little bit to the right for me at this point where it's going to be significant. Yeah, that's going to be hard to hit. So I'll have to adjust those sights at some point. So let me go single action and we'll see if I can hold on the target in a way I can hit. So it was hitting a little bit right. so. I guess I'm going to go way over to the left, maybe about over, like to the edge of the uh, target on the left. Yeah, I can't tell where these are hitting at all. So I had a hard time seeing that, and I don't know if my eyes are just getting worse or if those are just not shooting well for me. So I pop one off double action just for the fun of it with this. All right. Now I'm going to try to see where these things will hold. Or I can hold with these and see if I can hit. Not sure. They're hitting high. So at 
least with those, I have, I could uh, kind of adjust for that. It looks like that last one hit really high. I um, mean, I was aiming at the very base of that target. So, you know, for whatever reason, I don't know where those 44 specials were hitting. It, they just, you know, I can see on paper that this had the perfect amount of uh, windage. It was right where I was hitting, but with the 44 special, it just seemed like weird because these sights are drifted as far over pretty much to the left as they can go. So if I drift them even a little bit more so that that would force me to bring my front muzzle a little bit over to the left more, you know, that might work for that. But I haven't noticed that issue with other rounds of ammo. So for whatever reason, I think just that sectional density of that round just isn't doing well with this. You know, it's a heavy round, it's a long, it's a short barrel. Um, as where our 45 Colt, you know, it's a little bit shorter bullet because that weight goes out to the side. Just seemed like a better round in a sense. It did pretty well in the governor. Now at 25 yards, no problem whatsoever hitting my target. So I'm gonna say for its intended purpose, possibly uh, dangerous game defense, I think it's gonna do pretty well. But at distance, I'm not seeing as much accuracy as I'd like. So that's what you could today with our big game ballistic test, 44 Special versus 45 Colt. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.